Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Prospect Boy, coming back at y'all again with another video. Hope everybody's doing okay, staying up, maintaining, and uh, doing your thing. So, um, if any of you are familiar, I've been watching my past few videos, you know that I've been doing the uh, Couch to 5K running program, and I finished uh, this past Saturday. So I'm completely done with the program, and in my last video, I said I was going to do a, a video where I was going to give a few tips uh, on uh, how I was able to complete the program, and just, you know, tips for anyone that's interested in doing it. And uh, like I said, I'm not an expert in anything. Most of these tips, I only wrote down a few, but most of them are, are things that, that I apply for my, my own self, and then there's a couple that... Uh, that uh, I receive from other people that I'm just pass passing on. So, uh, so yeah, if you're interested in doing the program, you know, uh, you know, you might want to uh, check out this video right here. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, the first tip is 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 basically, well, mo most of the tips are very self-explanatory and they're very simple and uh, you know, straightforward. But tip number one is to not stop running at all under any circumstances. And what I mean is, you know, when you start off the program in the in the in the beginning weeks, uh, you know, there's always uh uh you know walking in between the runs. So, you know, when you when you get into the to the to the longer runs, you know, like the, the eight minute runs and the ten minute runs, the twenty minute runs and so forth. Uh, whatever you do, just just keep running. I don't. I mean, I don't care if you have to, if you have to slow down. If 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 you almost slowing down to the point where you're going at like a, a almost like a brisk walking pace, whatever you do, just just keep running. Don't stop. Okay. Uh, number two is focus on speed. I mean, don't focus on speed. I'm sorry. Don't focus on speed. What you want to focus on is, is your endurance and your stamina, because ultimately, if you if you're planning on running a 5K or any type of running uh, uh, race, most of the time, you know it's going to be more of a marathon type rather rather than a sprint. So you want to build up your endurance so you'll be able to run longer. It's not necessarily about speed. I mean, don't get me wrong, speed is a factor and you want to build that up but you know if you if you just recently started back running or if you never ran before uh in the beginning of this program you want to focus on building up your stamina and your endurance not necessarily your speed it's not about going out there running a mile in in 8 minutes or 7 minutes you know the program you know if if you run it correctly you're supposed to average around 10 minutes a mile but if 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 your miles are 11 minutes, 12 minutes, 13, 14 minutes, it doesn't matter. Just focus on building up that stamina and that endurance, and then the speed will come later on as you continue to run. Okay, uh, tip number three, breathe however is comfortable for you. Um, the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, a lot of running experts, uh, say that you know when uh, when you when you're running, you're supposed to breathe uh, in through your nose and out through your mouth, or in through your nose and out through your nose. That you shouldn't be breathing in through your mouth and out through your mouth, or whatever the case is. And a lot of people that that first start off running, a lot of them breathe in through their mouths and out through their mouths. And technically speaking, that's not the correct way of doing it, but you should breathe whatever is comfortable comfortable for you. If breathing through in through your mouth and out through your mouth is what makes you comfortable while you're doing this program, then do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, and you know, if you're starting off on this program, you know the the ideal is to gradually build yourself up into a runner, not to come out and start off and be you know just like you've been running all your life or anything like that. 
you you can work on your breathing as you gradually get into the program and if you finish the program you know when you run it out on your own you can focus on your breathing more but just remember you know breathe however is uh, most comfortable for you okay tip number four is to run on different uh, terrains uh, what I mean by that is uh, if you can you know if you're able you know change up your running routine well where you run a little bit not necessarily your routine but where you run um, if you're used to doing it on treadmills you know sometimes go outside uh, if you if you run outside regularly and you run like on a flat surface try to find you somewhere that has hills or or it doesn't necessarily even have to be a hill but like an incline something that you can go up there's more resistance because and this is actually a tip that uh, I received from someone on the on the couch to 5k running program he was telling me that if I was planning on running in a, a 5k race which is what I plan on doing next year that most likely there's gonna it's gonna be on a road and there's gonna be a hill somewhere and what you wanna do is you wanna have have your legs strong and you know to the point where if you do have to run up a hill you'll be ready you know what I'm saying and me personally when I when I was doing the catch to 5k uh, program and even with my running now I try to change up my routines you know y'all see me in videos running at the park then you see me in other videos where I was running uh, the street not too far from where I live and uh, the streets is that you know that's the that's the terrain that had the hills you know the the inclines that I had to go up and down and then there's a one uh that's actually on a highway not too far that I that I haven't been to you know in a probably I don't know a couple months but I'm going to start back running on that it's it's a steep real steep hill and I know when I used to run up it you know by the time I reached the top I was like dead tired so I want to see you know now that I've done that I'm done with this program uh how uh how uh, my body re reacts when running up the hill so yeah just try to run on different terrains and uh ch you know change your workouts up you know and keep in mind you know if you if you're able to run up hills the flat surfaces will be easier so if you practice running up hills you know when you run the flat surfaces it won't be as hard and finally and this is probably the most important tip is to trust the program you know when you uh, when you get past I think uh, week number three or number four one of them that's when the longer runs come in and and in the beginning it's probably gonna shock you because you've been used to running you know a minute and a half uh, three minutes or whatever and then you turn around all of a sudden you got like an eight minute run or a ten minute run it's gonna probably shock you in the beginning but trust the program it your this program is designed specifically for for building you up into running so it's not gonna put more on you than your body can handle so when you get to those eight minute runs those 10 minute runs those 20 minute runs or 25 whatever the case is whichever you know run that you're on length of run when you get into those runs or whatever and and it seems like you won't be able to do it just try it out and just stick with it you know what I'm saying so that's all I really have to say. Uh, those are the only tips I could come up with. If any of you have that have done the program or have any other running tips that you want to leave, feel free to leave them in the comment box. But uh, uh, that's all I want to do. I told you all I was going to do this video. I don't know if I'll ever be doing another Couch to 5K video after this. I will keep you all updated on my running, my training. Um, I'm actually going to go out and do some running in a little bit. Um, but yeah, those, those are the tips, you know. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all are doing well, staying up, maintaining, taking good care of yourself, staying healthy and, uh, enjoying the holiday season so far. And, uh, I hit y'all back, uh, real soon. So, uh, y'all take it easy. We see y'all in the next video. Peace.